Good morning. Good morning. It is the week before spring break. Yeah, so this is a little bit of a rough week for us to try to get everybody moving and motivated to do all your work, but we have so many fun activities planned that I know you're going to love it. I know you're going to love it. So here's what we're going to do for this week. We are going to definitely, let me just go right in here. We're going to definitely continue with eggs and some bunnies and some chick activities as well. Trust me, you're going to have a ball. Um, the stories are all going to be uh, chick or bunny related one way or the other. Some of them are about eggs. You never know. And as promised, I will throw in an alligator or sea turtle or snake story that has something to do with eggs as well. Okay. So I always keep my promises and someone asked me to do dinosaurs. So we did dinosaurs on Friday. Sometimes, you know, Mrs. Burns and Mrs. Barless can't look at my plans because they might change a little bit, <laughs> but by your requests. But I think this week I, I honored all your requests so that we can do some fun things. And so you're excited to see what's coming next. It's always what's coming next, right? So here we go. Good morning, beautiful bunnies. This week I'm going to call you something different every day, Jaylene. Not like last week I called you excellent something every week. This week, totally going to change it up. So today is bunnies, beautiful bunnies, because I think that you're beautiful inside and out. And I'm very proud of you. Super proud. I like to brag about my class. Today is Monday. So this week is a special week. We only have four days. So we have Monday, that's today. And then we're going to have Tuesday, Wednesday, and then fun Friday, we're going to move to Thursday. So we're going to have fun Thursday. Okay. So all your activities will be just stuff that you consider fun. We know it's learning, but they consider it fun. Um, and I'm going to talk about this in a little bit because I'm going to also send you just like I did last week. I'm going to send you one video per day of some fun, crazy activity to do today. I'm going to talk to you about it. It's something from your magic bag. Um, but I'll talk to you about that at the end because it also is a STEM project. Rhyme time. Here's our new rhyme of the day. Look, I'm going to have my friend Peter Rabbit. This is Peter Rabbit. In case you've never read a Peter Rabbit story, there's one on there tomorrow, but I'm going to let him help us with the rhyme today. Ready? So it's called Hop Little Bunny and it goes like this. Hop little bunny, hop, hop, hop. Hop little bunny, don't you stop. Hop little bunny, one, two, three. Hop, little bunny, hop to me. Maybe Dopin can do this too. Maybe. So find any stuffy. It doesn't have to be a rabbit, but it works better if it's a rabbit. So we can say, hop, little bunny, hop, hop, hop. Hop, little bunny, don't you stop. Hop, little bunny, one, two, three. Hop, little bunny, hop to me. So we've been doing positional words, right? So two would be this way, away would be this way, on top of, below or underneath my chin, next to. So be, you know, you need to bring a stuffy to morning meeting so we can play some uh, positional word games. Okay, bring a stuffy any stuffy. Here we go. What's in the bag? So it is a STEM project. Remember, this is science, technology, uh, engineering, and math. And so last week I gave you the assignment. And if you did not do it, please feel free to do it today. You can always make up things of taking your eggs apart and then building as high as you possibly can. Some of you got really far, like up to 10 or 20 um, parts. Some of you mm, say four and then mine keeps falling. So some of us are a little better at engineering than others, but keep trying and keep building. But today I want you to go in your magic bag and find the magnet. This is a magnet. The stick thing is a magnet and it came with two eggs. One is super taped shut. Do not 
untape it because inside is a tiny magnet. So you cannot, and I'm only telling you that because I do not want you to open it. Do not open it, okay? But let me show you what you can do with it. Ah, how cool is that? So you can push it around, pull it, bring it towards you, bring it away from you, do all kinds of fun grab the egg games with your wand and your egg. The other egg is empty, so you can open that. And I want you to put different things on the inside of it and see if it sticks to the magnet. We're gonna just do, yes, it sticks, or no, it doesn't. So, which actually means, yes, it's magnetic, or no, it's not. Magnetic is that fancy word for things that stick to a magnet. So you're just gonna play. Does it stick? Yes. Does it stick? No, like this. Watch, does it stick? Yes because my board is magnetic, right? Let's try another one. Does it stick up here? Nope, this is wood, so it doesn't stick up there, okay? Play yes, it sticks, no, it doesn't. And tell me some things that are magnetic, like my board, so like if I was playing, I could say, oh, the board is magnetic because it sticks. Or stick different things inside the egg. The, the empty egg, not sure one that's taped, the empty egg and see if it sticks, okay? Magnetic game today, plus your seesaw activities, and plus make sure you come on live with the stuffy, okay? I will see you at nine. I will see you again at 11. Today we are reading the mixed up pen. Wait till you hear her, it's just a little bit crazy. It's just a little bit crazy. It's a little bit of a crazy story. And you have some a seesaw story as well. I will see you at nine. I love you. Have a great day.